What is going on everybody? It is Middleborough back with uh, Loud's in today on the race level 300, episode 31 of this. Uh, he's not, Zen's not going to be here for the next couple episodes because he had to go out of, go out of town for something. And so, basically this and the next two episodes are not going to be done, so... Well, let me rephrase that. He's not going to be here for the next couple episodes. As you can see, though, I'm powering on. If I, if you watch me somewhat regularly, I might sound a little funny because I might be sounding a little bit funny because I'm I got a kind of stuff nose a little bit, but that ain't stopping me. I think it's just see, kind of starting to fall, and it's like usually like a little bit of sickness around uh, around like kind of season change, like uh, so. Especially when the weather kind of gets cooler, so, but, don't worry about me. I'm patching up, well, I'm basically continuing the support wall down all the way to the, uh, bottom here. Because I want, you know, I just wanted to kind of add some extra security to this, just in case the zombies have decide to, uh, you know, get smart and have uh, try and have a word with me, shall I say. Just kind of, you know, doing this as a overnight project to kind of keep me busy. Darn it. Oh, boy. But, gotta mine these out really quickly. Did not mean to do that. But, we, I have some cement mixtures crafting on in the in the workbenches at that base. I figured kinda of just do one side of the the wall here. I'm not gonna do the center because that's gonna be too much of a pain, but what I intend on doing here soon is I think the cement mixer should be crafted by now. But is I want to kinda of convert that to basically be all blocks, like at least cobblestone blocks, and then, uh, and, you know, if wood frames need be in, because, like, this is going to be kind of part of where the next part of, like, the big XP, uh, grinding thing is going to happen. Tier 6 POIs are going to be a big thing of this, and, uh, as you can see, we're at level 112, and I'm kind of one to you. Help supplement that a little bit. And, uh, if you don't know and you're new to the game, you know, it's like, uh, or new to the XP stuff, it's like, upgrading gives you a lot of XP in this game. Especially if you do it as a, as a, um, what you call it, uh, you know, do it from, like, wood to cobble to concrete and steel even, but I don't plan on doing steel. We got that cement mixer and that one there. Um, I was maybe thinking of putting them there, but... Uh, one thing could do is... is kind of a little... This room's not being really used for much. I'm thinking, like, cleaning out these pipes here really quick. Doesn't take that long for me to bang through these with... My steel tools. Uh, we'll even clear out the clean out the old door here. We're gonna so I'll just bang right through this real quick. The Meyer Six and I are doing for me so well, and also gotta clean out these pipes too. And I was thinking even like uh, can take the take these out, take this old spore wall because all this really is. Is the sewer system down there, and that got destroyed by the day 14 Horde Night, which I know was a while ago, but... Oh, Screamer. Hang on. Hi! Man, I forgot that bang on metal will kind of cause Screamers to really come in. Well, I guess we gotta take care of these really quick 
pictures. Nobody trying to, uh, let's just say, have a word with me about this. Okay, I think we're clear. I don't think they screamed. Like I was saying, though, like, kind of t expand the crafting room. I know it's kind of a cramped little one, but I'm like, kind of keeps it within the the idea of the, the house, and... Because I was kind of... I'm like, to me, this whole little section kind of, to me, screams like a workshop, so... One second while I clean out these blocks. It shouldn't take that long. Alrighty, got this block cleaned up. We're gonna patch this up really quick. And... I decided, yo, know, I want to make a couple more forges since, like... I'm kind of deciding to expand the old um, industry, I'll say, out a little bit. So we'll take these forges. And... Let's see... We can... S I'll squeeze one in... This actually would be a perfect spot for a chemistry station. I actually just completed a challenge for placing the forge. And with the chemistry station in mind, we'll just place the cement mixer there. Got cement mixer challenge done, so we'll just make this 3,900 XP and another, I feel like 13,000 XP. We've also got a... Ooh, we got the white challenge done. So that's like another 30k XP alone and that. And basically what I want to do with the with the forges is I have to remember what what is the forge smelting speed and forge crafting speed, so I had to make some anvils for that. Anvils and bellows. So, give me one second while I type this in. Anvil. Do I take iron and clay? Let's, do I have anything? I don't have that for the, the forge. I thought maybe I grabbed an extra anvil. Yeah, there we go. I don't think I have a spell bare bellows, but... So, like, forges wouldn't be working at maximum efficiency. Oops. Need to grab those really quick. But... Basically, what I want to do is I want to... Grab a couple stacks of stone and... And then, uh... We're gonna just basically go into the old uh, stone business here, like the old concrete business, because like concrete especially gives out a lot of a lot of stuff. We'll just we'll give you the the anvil and give you that and give you more stone. Basically like a uh, like I said Concrete takes a bit to make. We already got plenty of... Plenty of some sand. That's what I'm thinking of. Blah. Even got some... Some cement powder. And basically, like, utilizing what's called uh, parallel crafting in the game just to... Start making buttloads of cement. So we'll just do 621 in each cement mixer, it will make that faster. So, but yeah. Of course, we're gonna go turn in the uh, quest to to Trader Joel and unlock Hunting Knife Quality 2. So, I'm going to go get my resources uh, sorted up real quick and here, and uh, I will meet you guys over at Trader Joel's in just a second. So, catch you over there. Alrighty, coming on over to Joel's. I did put a couple advanced bells on the craft for those extra forges, and one thing I did want to mention is, like, 
you know, with your when you're upgrading blocks, like uh, because they do give you just regular, they just give you XP, and unlike Legacy, where it's like, you know, it's construction tools XP or, you know, all your XP boosters, you they will this? affect it. So, and here's our pick. reward. Shamway Seeker XP, or I'll actually take some crafting kits and 5,000 gas cans. And the White Slayer gives me a. Oh, this would be so nice to have, but um, I'll go for a s steal that and that. That's nice. Uh, that's a nice thing about um, having your ooh infestation. Remember to buy some armor if you take this. Pizza outlet, sure. That is fantastic. But news. uh, howdy, partner. <laughs> that's coming from Derek Adventure, maxed out, being able to choose to do that it's like it's so valuable for it wanted to check his uh his stock because he did restock today if i remember correctly it would have been day 28 would have been his last so and we got the um airdrop rolling in um I'll buy those real quick and those and you have not do you have an anvil? I'll take it. That's a free anvil. I know I could if I had I known uh, this that... makes up for the shit you stole from me. Oh, whatever, Joel. Actually let me check for an antibiotics, because I did get hit by our white before Welcome the episode the started. Of fashion, my friend. Nope. Well, okay. you know where we are if you change your mind. Um So it's like a it left me on zero percent infected and it was like it told me like, hey, you're infected, and it's like Oh, thank you, game. And we'll read that, and that. Nothing really fun out of them. These do contain books, but I'm gonna leave them bundled up. Just so... Just so we don't have any troubles. That airdrop's actually really close by. I was thinking, like, do I really want to go out there just to... Get something potentially not worth my time? And I'm like, oh, what the heck, we'll... We'll grab it. I don't know, there might be something half decent in there. Kind of one of those, it's like, uh, unfortunately, like, you know, airdrops and infestation not giving out tier 6 loot anymore. It's like, it kind of takes away some of the wow factor from it. It's like, kind of what is it? Airdrops, I can understand a little bit, but infestation jobs, though, I'm like, the, t the tier 6s in particular, I'm like, kind of like, what's. It's kind of like, what's the point of doing a tier 6 or then the XP? Sniper rifle bundle and a book bundle. Uh, check. Check that. That is. Well, might as well just read that really quick, but. Check the books out. And. Print of bow quality 4. And all that. We got print of bow quality 5. I've already read those books, so I'll just save them for Zim when he comes back. And. So. I'll meet you guys over at the infestation job. Alright, coming up on our job now. Which one is it here? Oh, it said the... It's Pete's, uh, cab or something. Pete's outlet, there it is. Come here, it's spider boy. Yeah, upgrade tier 4 and everything like that. Uh, let me throw the stuff in the motorcycle really quick, and most of it, except for the gloves and my and my old uh, repair kits, gonna actually have to repair that. Repair the motorcycle. Let's go in here, and oh, Tony, how are you doing, good sir? Look, I love starting off with a warm welcome from Tony. And a, and a rad. Hello! Actually, shotgun. There. Take care of him real quick. What a warm welcome, I tell you. Um, there's something I was trying to... Oh, right, I... Skill points, that's what I was wanting to spend. So... 
Oh, that's actually very good because I was one to invest into invest invest into advanced engineering anyways, but twenty percent faster. If... And then less of the rest on steel, and then all fortress piece cost fifteen percent less, and and then get crafting, and then crafting forge steel is twenty five percent less. I was gonna mention the advanced engineering because of the good old, uh, because of the 1.1 update. Ooh, bottle acid. They were, they actually fixed advanced engineering because, uh, especially with forges, because what I'm talking about is it took a, they made it to where, well, before the latest update, it would have. Advanced engineering was not, like, if you took it and, uh, say you want to make a whole, like, a bunch of forged steel, it would just, uh, take a whole bunch of, it would, like, give you, like, it would only allow you to craft, like, what you would get before all the bonuses, and it would get kind of annoying for making forged steel out of, like, making large batches of forged steel, it gets a little bit irritating, and it's like, it's like, I haven't really experienced it too much yet, but it, it should mean now, especially like with cement powder, that we don't have to worry about big, uh, you know, having to do these, like, bunch of small badges just trying to get as much as uh, we need out of it. Anything good? Uh, I would buy it if I had the money, but check the bathrooms really quick. Hello? Oh, Tony again. I mean, he didn't knee his head anyways. Gotta love the good old-fashioned shotgun. Wiki wiki. Hello! How are you? Boom. Couple more salvage tools books. We'll read the books at the end of the POI. And... Gotta go up here. Thank goodness they don't have like a, a trap that like causes elevator cars to come flying down the elevator because that would be a vicious trap. Say like the cable snaps and then you have a big old and it just suddenly it sends it flying down, crushes you. Where are you going? Well, you didn't need your arm, so where? Where did you go? Did she go down the stairs? She did. She did. Come here. And see if you like it. There we go. That's some unusual pathing. But for zombies, usually they're... They're pretty good. It's like in my last, uh, filming session at co-op, like... Fangs mentioned that, like, one of the zombies was going to beat on a tree. See you later. Tony brought his friends with Mikey. Didn't, didn't realize these two were hanging out. Get you, Mikey. And Vehicle Adventures book. Not too bad. Let's see. I think I cleared this POI out before, but I can't exactly remember. I got Hertz rent a car over there. And gotta jump across here. Oh bonk my head and went falling. Hello! Yeah, I heard you wanted M60 for supper. See you later. See you. Took both of them down. Excellent. Make sure said just make sure everyone's being taken care of. I almost fell uh, fell through the fell into the alleyway. Um, wouldn't be a bad idea to take a take a take a little beer. Nice buzz and. Should be kind of coming up. Crack a book. Okay. Oh. 
I almost fell in. I think that's supposed to be a trap for us, but I'll just uh, rob you of the books. Hey, Shaka Messiah. Shaka Messiah is now done. You can bulk craft ammunition and, and do a lot of damage to most wood blocks. Where is that thing? I'm using the shotgun to some great effect. Hello! There you go. Yeah, usually for me, it's like a two shots a lot of wood blocks. <laughs> then again, I run mostly just regular buckshot. I'm sure it'd probably be something with like armor piercing, maybe like that. Knock, knock. And nobody hiding in the back. There you go. Guess we're going downstairs. Not a working vending machine, unfortunately. Check these garnet bags real quick. Sewing kits can use those for our crafting kits and steel knuckle parts as if I really need those anymore, but appreciate the offer nonetheless. Oh, hello! See you later, and... Where are... Looks like we're coming up to the last section of the POI. If I'm wondering, this has a... Has a little... Yep. Got to walk in here. Come on in, guys. Doesn't look too bad. Mikey, why are we hiding up in the roof? Give me one brother. Come on, you know better. Um, reload really quickly. And... Pull out the SPG, don't use it too much. That is our job done. I realize now that I just com I just wasted a beer because I forgot about my knuckles. Oh, silly me, silly me. Whoa, tier four desert vulture, not too bad. The tier four, tier five. I I'm a little out of it. Oh well. Can't forget, can't forget some good old cloth though, really quick, and I'll break into this uh, one sec. All right, main chest has been broken into. Let me just break in, break into these. And hard and chest, what do you have? Hand alien and wiring books and a muzzle brake. Some decent stuff in there. Food and coffee. Tier 3 compound bow. First one I've really seen in loot. Let me just quickly read through these books. I'm sure the bird would love to have a word with me. Oh, uh, shoddy quality 5 and pistol quality 2. Ranger's Guide to Archery Volume 6. Uh, not the series set though. That's okay. Banded Armor Play mod and then the Infestation Cache. Suppressor mod, not too bad. One thing I'm going to do really quick is just salvage that up for a little bit of extra materials, and so helps out a little bit. You know, can get a little bit of steel. I should have put on my salvaging gloves though. Let me just hit the garage door really quick, and there we go. Grab front here. Oh, direwolf during the day. Things are really getting a little, a little spicy out here. Oh, might as well take him down really quick. Oh, I'm. Dang it, I'm out of ammo. Cobbed my pants down. I thought I loaded the M60. Get out. There we go, puppy down. What? What do you want? Go away. I would like to have my loot. Thank you. 
Uh, zombies. A full motorcycle chassis. Hmm. Where was this when I would when I needed it? You know, when I was making uh, some motorcycles. Ah, well. Take a look at that. Nail gun quality four and thirty-two out of thirty-five for for the traps books. So read that and. So we'll just... Dang it. I'll go grab the rest of the infestation cash and I'll meet you over to Trader Joel's. So, one sec. Okay, coming back to Trader Joel's, you know, here pretty quick, but, uh, I wanted to say this, I made a dumb decision, like, I forgot, <laughs> well, I went to go grab the infestation catch, like the rest of it out of its drop loot bag. And well the the game decided to uh I didn't realize like uh, the despawn timer is so short, so uh, I wound up losing all that ammunition out of it. I think it managed to suppress uh, yeah, I salvaged the suppressor and I blew it as zombie bear on the way, but a little dumb decision by me, but now I know to make sure I actually yo. Hey, are you looking Grab all the loot, you so... You spend it all in one place? Make sure it's at Trader kits, Joel's. And... I actually should running. We should be running lockpicks. So... Take one more job. If you need coin, this is the best way to get it. Sure, if any tower, I don't think I've... After I've taken that, course. so... Uh... Now we're up to level 115, so couple more points to spend, so go into Advanced Engineer. And in case you're wondering why I'm not going into uh, uh, Physician completely, uh, the only real thing that makes that would really... I'll probably invest one more point into it before, you know, before I decide just, like, that's enough of it. But uh, Physician, like, the only thing that really kind of gives me any other benefit out of it is because I'm not into batons is uh, that like you know crafting items out of the chemistry station 40% faster not really that much of a bonus if I don't have a chemistry station yet so and it's like the low vibe bonus just gives me 10% chance to instantly kill a zombie with batons yeah, um, I'm not gonna go raid this job today, like, I feel like, you know, this might be a shorter episode, but, you know, I think it, I'm gonna call it good, you know, like, uh, gonna do some more work overnight on, like, the horde base, you know, try to get some upgrades done, you know, maybe if, uh, the concrete is uh, finished up, but if you made it this far as the episode and you like what you see, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Helps the channel out so much. I hope you have a good one and take care.